Hi, I'm Chris Gillis, LCMS Product Manager for Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean a spray unit on a Shimazu mass spectrometer. For this procedure, you can also refer to Section 7.8 in the LCMS Instruction Manual. You will need the following tools and supplies. Water and or an appropriate solvent. Drawing tool. Phillips screwdriver. 5 mm hex wrench. 6,000 grit abrasive cloth. A beaker. Optional replacement parts include a new sampling cone. After turning off all gas flows and heaters using Lab Solutions software, allow the unit to cool to room temperature. Then remove the LC connection tubing. Unlock and remove the ionization unit. Remove the corona needle if present. Before cleaning the spray cone, remove the peak tubing. Then retract the ESI spray needle by loosening the locking collar and rotating the peak nut counterclockwise. This will protect the spray needle from damage during cleaning. Use a lab wipe and an appropriate solvent to remove buildup from the metal surfaces of the source. Water is recommended for salts and methanol for organics. Clean the inside walls of the ion source as well as the tip. After cleaning is complete, adjust the ESI spray needle protrusion to about 1 mm and reinstall the corona needle if present. Before removing the sampling cone, remove the heater flange. This is a simple step to keep the screws from falling down into the instrument. Using the hex wrench, loosen both bolts on the front of the heater flange. The bolts have a capture mechanism, so you cannot completely remove them from the flange. Using the drawing tool, remove the heater flange. Insert the drawing tool behind the heat block and pull the heater flange straight out. Set it aside on a clean surface. The sampling cone can now be removed from the heater flange. Remove the sampling cone screws. Depending on the model of the unit, the screws will be either Phillips head or hex socket type. Once the screws have been removed, place the sampling cone and the screws in a clean beaker of solvent for sonication. Sonicate for about 10 minutes. For severe contamination, polish the cone with 6000 grit abrasive cloth or replace the cone. Clean the heater flange with lab wipes and solvent. Dry the parts and mount the sampling cone back onto the heater flange. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws. Mount the heater flange in place. Use the guide at the top of the flange to help with alignment. Keep it straight as you push it into place. Finger tighten the bolts, then use the wrench to secure the heater flange. Be careful not to over tighten. Reattach the clean ionization unit and lock it in place. Reconnect the LC tubing and initiate the heaters and gas flows using lab solutions. For more information about Shimazu mass spectrometers, visit us at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.